Which solar panel would you use to charge up the S2000 All Powers Solar Generator? The 400 watt panels or two 200 watt panels? Let's do an experiment and see if there's any difference. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Honey and Me. I'm Susan. It is a beautiful sunny day. There's just a tiny little cloud up in the sky up there. So it's a really good day to recharge the All Powers S2000 solar generator. I had it charged to 100% for storage. So <laughs> I had to find a way to discharge it. So I plugged in the fan that I use in our bedroom at night and I let it run from about five o'clock last night to 11 o'clock this morning. And there's still 38% power left in that battery. It's pretty impressive. But now I got it down to 38% power and we can try out these two ways of charging this 2000 watt generator. Before we start our experiment, I'll tell you a little bit about each of the panels, just so you can have a, a good idea of the comparison between the two. So this is a 400 watt panel. It has five, panels the size of the suitcase. It weighs almost 41 pounds or 18 and a half kilograms. It's quite large. It's about, oh, maybe two inches thick. It's got a case to carry all the cords in that come with it, which is a good assortment of cords. Pretty much anything you would want to plug into it. It has a cord or an adapter for, so you don't need to go out and buy new adapters for different solar batteries that you have. The 200 watt panels each come with a good assortment of cords. So if you decided to get two of these to be able to charge this up with 400 watts of power, you get double the cords. Comes with a cord to recharge a regular car battery with, with the little clips. It comes with one that has the Anderson connection on it. And then the one that has a barrel plug type one on it. It comes with five other adapters to be able to attach this to other things. There's four more barrel plugs in here, plus another one that I've never even seen before, so I don't know what that is. <laughs> the connectors that come out of the solar panel itself are the MC4 type, and that is the same for the 400 watt panels. It's MC4 type, and it has all the adapters as well. All the solar panels have this nice little pouch on the side where you can store all of the cords. 200 watt solar panels weigh 13.89 pounds or 6.3 kilograms. To add the two of them together to equal the same wattage as the 400 watt solar panel, if you add the two 200 watt solar panel weights together, the weight will be 27.78 pounds or 12.6 kilograms. So considering that the two of these together weigh 27.78 pounds, almost 28 pounds, and this one weighs almost 41 pounds. If you have a problem lifting weights, you should probably go with the two 200 watt panels. I haven't tried the two 200 watt panels out yet. They're brand new to me. All Powers has sent them to me to try them out and do a comparison. So let's get on with our experiment. First, I'm going to hook up the 400 watt panel and we'll take a look at how much power it's getting from today's sun. And then I'm gonna quickly change them over to the two 200 watt panels in parallel to see if there's any difference in how much energy the two 200 watt panels get from the sun compared to the one 400 watt panel. Lots of numbers, but I think you'll understand what I'm doing once I get started. I can't set up all of the panels at the same time because one of the things that All Powers says in their instructions is not to expose the panels to the light until you have your battery plugged into it. So you need to protect the panels because as soon as the panels are exposed to the sun, they start to produce power and the cord is then live basically. To make your panels last longer, they suggest not exposing the panels to the sunlight until you have your battery plugged in. So what I do is I plug my battery in first and then I unfold my panels. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So this is where the solar panels plug into on the S2000. So I've got them plugged in and now I can unfold the solar panels safely. These are actually pretty easy to set up even though they are quite large. I take it over to the end where I want the solar panel to start unfolding and just unfold it, pulling out the legs from behind as I go. It's pretty easy. So I'm gonna start it here. So I'm pulling out the first leg and letting it lean back and I need to get away from this table a little bit further. There. And then I unfold the first one and get that leg ready to catch it. Oh, first I have to undo the clasps. That would be a good idea. 
So I'm going to come around here. Usually this is from behind, but with the table there, it's a little bit hard to get behind it. So I just keep on unfolding. And already the fan has started on the generator. Ooh, wasp. That's what you get for stinging me. So <laughs> we have a lot of wasps around here these past few days. Don't know what it is, but I've been stung twice today already. Good thing I'm not allergic. So yeah, the solar battery is now already being charged just by these two panels that are already out. So we're gonna keep on unfolding and pulling the legs out. And I might have to move them over because I think my garden's in the way. So there is all five panels unfolded. There's a little bit of shade on there from the tripod. So I'm going to move the tripod and give you a better look at this. And having that little bit of shade really does make a huge difference in how much power your solar panels are absorbing. It's amazing. I'm going to do an experiment to show you that as well. And I have to readjust the angle just so that they're getting more sun. So that looks pretty good. And I'm going to take the battery and I'm going to actually put it down below behind the panels because you want to keep that out of the sun because as it's charging it does heat up and you don't want to add to the heat with the sunshine. And then we'll take a look at what kind of power is going into the battery. With the 400 watt panel with pretty clear skies there's just a tiny little shadow on here from the tripod which is going to make a difference. You can see it is taking in 314 watts of power. Now I'm going to move the tripod and we'll see what the difference is. So there's the difference. That's 40 watts difference that it's taking in just having moved that little bit of shadow off of the solar panel, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. Placement of the solar panels in the sun and not shade of any kind makes a big difference in how much wattage you're going to be getting from the sun and into your battery. Your battery is going to charge just that much faster. So that little tiny bit of shadow that was on the corner of this one solar panel made a 40 watt difference in how much power was going into my battery. That's huge when you consider that this is 400 watts. That's like, what is that? I'm not very good at math. <laughs> 40 watts out of 400 watts, that's like 10% of your power is not going into your battery because of a tiny little bit of shadow. It wasn't even a solid shadow, it was just legs from my tripod. So huge difference. Try to get your panel in as much sunshine as you can without any shade. So we're back out after a little over an hour of letting this charge. We're up to 66% and at 256 watts of power. That's gone down about 100 watts since we left it, but the sun has moved over, so I think if I re-angle the panels, it'll pick it up. So I'm gonna do that just to make sure. So now the panels are more directly facing the sun, and we'll check the wattage going into the battery. And already, it's about 60 watts higher than it was before I move the panels. So it does make a huge difference, the angle, how much shade is on them. And I actually do have a little bit of shade on it from the tripod again, so I'm gonna move it again. See that little tiny bit of shade? It's just on the bottom corner here, but it does make a difference. So I'm going to move the tripod and we'll check the wattage again. 107, and now look, it's up to 327. So that's 20 watts more, just from that little teeny tiny bit of shade that was on that one corner of the solar panel. Oh, my light's gone out here. Turn that back on. So yeah, it does make a difference, even a little tiny bit of shade, how much energy your solar panels are taking in. So I'm gonna set up the two 200 watt panels in series. I'd hope to be able to do them in parallel as well, but I actually need a special connector to connect positive to positive because the connectors don't fit that way. <laughs> They're very specific to fitting to positive to negative. So I'm setting them up in series. I'm going to leave links down below to a couple of websites that I've been using to help me understand solar power and parallel and series and all the stuff that's involved with that. 
It explains it a lot better than I ever will be able to. But I wanted to be able to show you if there is any difference. I don't know because I haven't done this before. But if there is any difference between using the specific 400 watt solar panel as compared to two 200 watt solar panels. In series, I'm still getting 400 watts of power because it doesn't matter whether it's series or parallel, the wattage is added together from the different panel sizes. So that doesn't change. It's still 200 plus 200 is 400. So already the generator is starting to do its thing. You can always tell when it's running because the fan starts to run on it. Or when it's charging, the fan starts to run on it. So you can see how much smaller, or at least shorter, these panels are. They have the same kind of Velcro legs that extend on elastics in the back. I'm gonna have to move the generator out of the way. There we go. Get that out of the way because we know how much difference the shadow makes. So that's one 200 watt panel. I'm just gonna check what kind of charge we're getting. It's getting 153 watts from this 200 watt panel. Now I'm gonna put in the other one, probably a little further back, so it still gets all the sunshine. The generator is starting to run faster, so it's telling me that it's getting more power in. I'm gonna check it in just a minute. I'm gonna get these all situated. Got a little bit of shade on the end of this one, and I think there's a little bit of shade on the end of that one too from all this fireweed around my yard that is now going to seed and blowing fluffy stuff all over the place. So that one has a little bit of shadow in the corner. Now I'm causing shadow on the other one. So there we go. Everybody should be sitting in the sun. So that looks pretty good. There is sun on all corners. I'm gonna <laughs> go around to the side and I'm actually I'm realizing now when I go around there, I'm gonna be creating a shadow on that back panel. So, hmm, how can I get back there without creating a shadow? I crawl. <laughs> I'm going to crawl down behind here. Oh, yes, as soon as my shadow was on that, it went way down. So I'm getting 300, getting a little bit of shadow on there, and it really makes a difference. Holy moly. It's up to 326 now. We're 69% charged, 326 watts of power going in from these two 200 watt panels. And I'm going to sneak out of here. I can actually hear the fan on the battery slowing down when I put shade on this panel over here. That's amazing. I didn't realize that shadow on the panels made that much difference. I, I'm really kind of blown away by that. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to adjust these a little bit. I think the sun is that way more. I'm trying to get the sun right on them. Sorry for blocking you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I'm going to leave this for about another hour just to do a fair comparison between the two. It's now just after 1.30 in the afternoon and we have big trees on that side of our property. So the sun tends to go behind the trees a few hours before sunset, which is getting earlier and earlier already. But I'm going to leave this for a little while. I'm going to go have a cup of coffee and I'll be back. It's now almost three o'clock. So they've been out here for about an hour and a half. I took a little longer break, <laughs> but I'm going to check to see what kind of charge we're getting. I've obviously slowed it down a little bit because my shadow is there, but I'm going to sneak around the back. It's going to go light up my screen and then I'll get out of here. It's 99% charged. It's almost fully charged. And right now it's pulling 305 watts of power from the sun still. I have a heckler. <laughs> he, he's a, a kind of a permanent fixture at our house and he's very cheeky. You have to take into consideration that the time of day these are being used is later in the day compared to what the 400 watt panels were being used at and that does make a difference. As far as I'm concerned the two 200 watt panels are doing just as good a job as the one 400 watt panel and I think they are just a little easier to take around with you. I can see using the 400 watt panel in the travel trailer because we have the room in there to carry it around. 
it would be different taking it in honey or in the car camper. I think it would be too big for either of those situations. The time of day that I had the 400 watt panels out was more conducive to getting better solar power from. The sun is just in a better position in the sky at that time of day. So to be fair, these ones got the later sun today and I think all told, I would choose the smaller panels just because they're easier to store, they're easier to carry around and they're pretty easy to set up and move around during the day to change the angles so that you get the most out of the sun throughout the day. It's kind of six of one, half a dozen of another. So that wraps up my little experiment here with the two 200 watt solar panels and the one 400 watt solar panel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye.